Okay, my wife and I, we walk this road every day. We take a nice little two mile walk out to the highway. It's a mile out there and a mile back. And on our way, we found this. Now, I don't know what this is yet. I think it's an almond, but I'm not real sure. It's kind of got a fuzzy fruit on it. They're not ripe yet. I don't know if it's an almond. The leaves look kind of like an almond. Ooh, watch out for the ant. Looks kind of like an almond leaf. I might have to do a little more investigation on that and see what it is. But you can see there's a lot of fruit on this tree. I can't wait until it comes into season. Because I'm going to tear it up. There's some more sassafras. Alright, here we go. This is another one. See, it's got the same leaves on it. There's the fruit. But, covering it is wild grape. When those come in, you can eat them. If they're dry on the vine, they're called wild raisins. And you can eat those too. As you can see, it will just attach itself to anything and eventually the wild grape will kill the plant. Uh, it'll just take it over and just and just kill it. So, Anyway, those are a couple of more wild edibles. You can see this grape is going to put out lots and lots of fruit this year. And right next to it again is another sassafras. And you see the wild grape is just all through this. So, yep, it's going to be a good year for this. Here we go. Look here. You know what that is? It's wild onion. I'm going to try to pull it up, but they're kind of old right now. Got to get them. No, it ain't going to come up. It's going to fight me. Yeah, yeah it's not going to come up. But it smells good. I think these tips are going to bulb out and turn white and that's going to be garlic wild garlic so give that a whiff mmm that is good good stuff during the early time of the year in the early spring we pick them and use them just like regular onions this is wild rose flowers have already passed but rose hips will be coming in pretty soon and those are really high in vitamin C and in the midst of it sassafras also we've got wild berries going down there now, from what I understand if you've got a berry bush that is a blackberry if it grows along the ground it's a dewberry Correct me if I'm wrong, that's just what I've read. So I'm going to come up here to this mulberry tree. We're going to go back to the house. And I'm going to show off my garden and call this video done. Be long, I was right here. I found this tree earlier this morning. I was helping my neighbor with a cow that he had, a little calf. Didn't have no mama. And uh, he was getting really hungry so I helped him get him into a into a crate and these are mulberries these are awesome I made some mixed mulberry blackberry jelly a couple days ago we got about a dozen jars of it this is a black mulberry the red mulberries grow a lot bigger this one is a black one don't eat them when they're red they're no good they're really bitter I don't like that one. I get this one. Yeah. Good hillside side Another nibble. Good. Right up the road a piece. There's a really big tree up there. I'm just not going to go up there. I've already been up the road once today. But there's a really nice one. All the berries on it are kind of small, but they sure are tasty. And then there's another one that. And uh, that's got the bigger ones like but, this. But uh, when I was in California, I was on a golf course. And... Uh, the mulberries were just huge. Sorry about the wind. Let me turn. The mulberries were just huge. They were probably three times this length. And that was pretty nice when we were out golfing. We could uh, stop and eat some mulberries along the way. 
So anyways, uh, we'll just go back to the house and show off the garden and call it a video. This is sumac. Now from past years I know that this is uh, a sumac because, well, I've, I've picked some of the heads. And when you're driving down the road and you see this stuff on the side of the road during the later in the year, the heads are going to be Christmas tree shaped and red. And if you take those and you steep them in some cold water for a couple of hours, it gives off a lemony taste. But when you do that, just make sure that you run it through a cheesecloth or some other fine mesh cloth because it does have little hairs on it and if you get them caught in your throat you will be hating life for a while. Well here's another mulberry tree. Anyways we're headed back to the house I just thought I'd throw that out there. Look there's another pulp plant. There's all kinds of it up through here. Anyways uh, lemonade sumac aka staghorn sumac. That's pretty good stuff too. And it make a nice refreshing late summer home. Picked a few daylilies to go in my salad tonight. And there's a few strawberries that I got in a little planter. Those are pretty good too. Alright, going into the garden. It's been a good year. We've had a lot of water. Ah, turnips. Melon right in the middle of that. More turnips. Zucchini. A couple of melons also in there. Carrots, mmm, then we're gonna be good. Onions, dill, potatoes. Uh, potatoes aren't doing too good for me this year. There we go. Two serranos, two habaneros, bell pepper. Uh, we had some romaine here. That's the rest of the last one. I'm probably going to end up pulling that. I don't think it's going to be any good. Uh, in this row here, I've planted Swiss chard. Because I had lettuce in there and the lettuce was done. In this one, I had spinach. The spinach is done. And I planted cilantro. Here are my cauliflowers. Now they're tied up because if you know anything about gardening, if you don't tie up your cauliflower, you will end up with a bloomed cauliflower. Now see, here's a little bit of the flower. That means it's good size in there. I can't wait till that stuff's done. I love cauliflower. I'm going to pickle it. We've got some cabbage here. Tomatoes. Lots of tomatoes. And we've got fruit on them. Lots of flowers. Over on this section of the garden, I have cayenne peppers, four of them, two rows of hot jalapenos, there and there, and we have little baby jalapenos on there, you can see them. And this right here are hot yellow banana peppers. There's one right there. We picked one the other day that's about twice that long. That is a uh, cucumber that decided it wanted to live over here. Um, this is turnips. Now, this is the first year I ever grew turnips. Uh, it's the first time I've ever eaten turnips. I like them raw. Dip in a little bit of ranch. This right here is butternut squash. You can see the little baby butternut squash right there. And the one next to it is also butternut. That is uh, another kind of squash. I'm not real sure what it was. I can't remember. Look at this. This is my uh, yellow straight neck squash plant and it is just going crazy. I probably got 15, 20 of them on there, it seems like. Now these are more turnips. My mom asked me to grow some turnips for her. I accidentally spilt the bag of seeds and then had to separate them and this is where these ended up. That is broccoli. I'm waiting for that to flower. Hopefully it's not too late in the year. Yellow beans. Now this right here, these are my uh, 
my cucumbers. And I love making pickles. So there's some spinach. I'm gonna have to pull that up pretty soon. It's getting all weedy. That's cauliflower too, but I'm pretty sure it's too late in the season to mess with it. This is my zucchini patch. I have eight zucchini plants here and they are just going ballistic on me. I feel really blessed to be able to garden like this. It's truly a blessing to be able to do this.